everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about jobs I've had and my job history. So if this is something you'd like to watch, please continue. <sighs> all right, you guys will have to excuse me. I just took a shower. Um, yeah, so my hair is all like frizzy and crazy. And I haven't eaten, so I'm like trying to eat something right now. Um, but I wanted to film a video for you guys really quickly. So I had asked on Snapchat maybe like a week ago if you guys had anything you wanted to know about me. And I got a lot of really great feedback. And somebody had asked, sorry, I'm like, somebody had asked like about my jobs, like, you know, like where, where have you worked? What have you done? Like, tell me about your job. So I'm like, that's a really like awesome question. I don't think I've ever actually talked about like my job history with you guys. So first of all, I always wanted to work. Like I like really liked being around people. You know how when people would play like house or something or like school, I would never want to play house or school. I'd want to be like, I want to be the, um, the lawyer or I want to be the executive or I'm the CEO of this company. And you know, like that's what I would want to play when I was little. So I always really loved um, stuff like that. And my mom is, my mom went to Harvard. My mom's like a really strong businesswoman. So I kind of grew up, or not kind of, I grew up watching my mom kind of being a tiger, like, you know, being on the phone and like being very, well, my mom still is like that, but my mom being, you know, her, like her own boss and everything. So, and my mom being a very strong, you know, like woman. So that's, I grew up seeing that. So I grew up not wanting to play like house or play school teacher. I grew up wanting to play CEO. So I wanted to work so bad. And there was this store in the town that I grew up in and I wanted to work there so bad. And I used to go in there, I was like 12 and I'd be like, Hey, can I get a job? And they'd be like, no, you have to be like at least 15 and a half. You have to be 15. You have to be 15. I was up in England, like 15. So my very first job I ever got was at the skateboard store. And it was at this mall near where my parents live in Massachusetts. And I had never really skateboarded before. I didn't know anything about skateboarding. And it was this special type of skateboard that it was a skateboard. And then it was on kind of like a round like cylinder. So it was almost like a game and it, it was, used for people who are practicing skateboarding inside, but it's also great for like kids and stuff. So I went there, I had never had a job. So I had a very like fake, um, but I also was like 15 and a half, like 16. I don't even think I was 16 yet. I don't think I could drive yet. Um, but it was like a very, like my app, my um, resume was totally forged. Like I said that I had worked for my parents. I said that I worked in this like store and you know, honestly, people really don't care. They don't really do reference checks when it's like, you know, your first job or something or when you're young. So I worked there for the entire summer and I really liked working there. I made a lot of friends. It was a good time. I can't even remember how I started stopped working there because I feel like it wasn't even that I went back to school. I think that it was that I think the store may have gone out of business because it was like one of those malls where like, you know, it was it would go out of business a lot like the stores were like that. But I really liked um, working there and it was cool. Uh, it was small. I think for a first job, it was good. I, you know, I made friends with all the managers and stuff and yeah. So there was nothing bad about that job. What did I do after that? Oh, and then when I worked there, the whole time I worked there, my mom would always be like, I don't know why you're working. You're, you know, you should be enjoying your summer. You should be enjoying your summer. But I went to boarding school, so my friends didn't like live around me. It wasn't like during the summer I would see a lot of my friends. Like everybody kind of like was spread out. So I liked working. I mean, I always liked working. So after the skateboard store, where else did I work? Um... I think that was my little, oh, then I worked another summer at this place called Talbot's, which is an older woman's clothing store. And I actually got fired from there, but they didn't really fire me. They just kind of were like, we just think that you're not a good fit because I got into a fight with the manager because there were 
really stupid rules that they wanted you to follow like I had like your shirt had to be tucked in and even if your shirt was longer than the pants they would say oh well we can see your stomach which wasn't true like you couldn't see my stomach so I'd be like well you know there's actually not a rule that says your shirt needs to be tucked in in the you know handbook it just says that your stomach can't be exposed which my stomach was never exposed like my shirt was always longer than you know my pants or like the um remember where my waist was for my pants and yeah I just felt like they didn't like me because I was like young and all this stuff but whatever so I didn't work there and then actually once I got like let go from there I went across the uh, street to Abercrombie and Fitch where as you know you can wear like belly shirts so I would wear um, like belly shirts and they always put like the pretty people like in the very front so I was always in like the super front so I would like stand in the front with my belly shirt wearing flip-flops and be like wave to my old manager like <laughs> um, so I worked there and then when I went to college, I continued working at Abercrombie & Fitch. So I'm not sure exactly how long I worked at Abercrombie & Fitch for, but I, I there was at one point where I just really didn't want to work there anymore because it was just like very catty, really long hours. You got paid really bad. I don't even remember how much I got paid. I think I got paid like $7.25 or something, um, but just really, really long hours. And I'm somebody that like, if there's stuff to be done, I'll stay. So. I found myself staying like later and later and later and being there like crazy hours just like folding and folding and there wasn't really much room for growth because I think that I mean there was never anybody that told me like oh you could be a manager an assistant manager key holder or anything like that and I worked there for kind of a while so I had left one college I was going to and I had gone to another college and when I went to that college, I worked at this store called Momo Berry, which was an upscale Hello Kitty store. And I was actually an assistant manager there. And I really liked working at Momo Berry. It was super fun. Um, the dress code was like you had to wear something pink and like you could only wear pink and black, which was like fine because I love pink. And I loved the store. We had all these cool events. All the girls that worked there were super cool. It was really fun. Um, it was also really fun because I love Hello Kitty, so it was like working in like an upscale Hello Kitty store and everything was from Japan was really cool. I, I really enjoyed it. Like I loved working there. Some of the things that didn't sit right with me though is, so I went to college for visual communications and like that's what I have a degree in, you know, and so I'm really good at doing visual communications and doing store setups and store displays. I did a lot of stuff that was not in, that I should have been paid a lot more for, but I wasn't paid for because I was technically I was you know clocked in so I was working so she would like the main manager would put me um in charge of doing lookbooks so I would do all of these lookbooks and at the time I was like oh this is so fun I'm doing lookbooks but I really should have been paid like four times as much as I was getting paid for because I was doing a lot of work so I was doing lookbooks I also was doing photo shoots so I was coordinating everything I was also doing fashion shows where I was coordinating everything with like Lacoste and other companies um so I did a lot of work that I was getting paid. I believe I was getting paid like 13, 25 or something. So I was getting paid what I would have been getting paid normally, but I was doing like four times as much work. So there was at a point where I just was working one day a week because I was so busy with school and everything. And then they finally, um, she didn't really let me go. She was just like, if you want to work here more days, you would need to do that because like just working here one day a week, like isn't working anymore. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I gave up that job. I worked as a store manager at the uh, store called Gadzooks. And that was probably one of my most, like my most enjoyable jobs because actually, so this is kind of funny. So when I first got hired at Gadzooks, I had, this was like when emo and like scene was in, I had super short black hair. Like my hair was like, I think three or four inches, like all the way around. And I had my nose pierced on both sides. So I had hoops on both sides and I'd wear like crazy black smoky eye makeup. And I would wear like black shirts and I was like super seen. You know, like I had like my hair like choppy cut and stuff. I wish I had photos of this because this was like when MySpace was around. And I mean, just like imagine the total scene pictures where it's like this. And I'm like, you know, with like my black choppy hair and stuff and my, my nose pierce on both sides. I was just like, I don't know. Um, 
but I went and I was like, hi, can I fill out an application? So I filled out an application and then I got a phone call that same day and the girl was like, hi, yeah, um, so we are going to hire you. Could you come? And I, oh, she's like, can you come in for an interview? So I went in for an interview and it was this pregnant lady. I, I remember what she looked like, which was so funny. She had like red curly hair. She was pregnant. So she hired me and then she's like, okay, come in like next Thursday or something. So I'm like, okay. So I come in next Thursday and I go up to whoever's like in charge who I don't recognize as this blonde lady. It's kind of like bigger blonde lady. And I'm like, hi, I'm Kristen. Like I'm here for my first day. And she's like, who are you? I was like, I'm Kristen. Um, today's my first day. And she was like, I have n like she had no idea who I was like she was like they were going through I guess a change in ownership and she's like well I'm here from corporate I'm in charge the the manager actually they had like fired that manager so she's like well we have no record of you so I was like okay so she just she was like okay well here fill out your like your tax your tax information and your 1099 like I was like it was just so funny because she didn't know who I was I could have been anybody off the street like hi I'm here to you know it was just so funny because I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm here. So I worked as a sales associate. And when I got hired as a sales associate, I was making, I think, like, $7.25 an hour. And then quickly, I mean, within, because I'm, like, a really hard, I have always been a hard worker. And everybody likes me. Like, even people that were older than me really liked me. Within a month, I was a key holder, which then I made, I think, like, 11 something And then a month later, I became an assistant manager and as an assistant manager, I think I was making like thirteen seventy five or something like around there. And then within a month, I was a store manager and I was making like twenty five an hour. And then with overtime, like so, I was making like really good money. And it was never about the money for me though. I just really liked working there. Like I really liked the girls. I liked everybody. We had fun. Um, Everybody on my team like always liked me like everybody was always like oh my god Kristen I'm so happy you're working and it was just so like such good vibes like we just really Excuse me. We really like um, meshed really well everybody in the group So I loved that and I actually gave up that job to go back to California to um, I think I was pursuing another degree in fashion But that was really sad because I really did like that job and it was hard for me because that job really like made me not want to leave Massachusetts, but I just knew, you know, I wanted to further my career and I wanted to further my education. So that was kind of sad. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I worked at, um, so I actually had at one point like three jobs at the same time. I worked at this small store as like just doing retail. It wasn't, I wasn't a manager or anything. I was just doing, um, it was like literally one person in the store at a time. So it was like a super small store. So I did retail there. And then while I was doing that, I also had another job that was online. And then at that same time, I was also doing alcohol promotion. And alcohol promotion is really fun because you can make up to 45 an hour and you're just giving alcohol to people or you're telling people about alcohol. And that was really cool because I would go to bars and they would have like a tab of $500. So while you're there for two, three hours, you need to spend that $500 tab. So that was cool. Or you'd go to a liquor store and you'd hand out alcohol to people. So that was fun. Um, it was really cool. I loved that job. There was a lot of traveling so you had to like you had to go from town to town or bar to bar. So there was a lot of traveling, but you only worked like a few hours every day and you could decide and you got travel time and you got time, you got more money if you got there early or if you stayed there later. And it was fun. It's like, you know, it's, it's just like, a, it was a very fun job. I really liked it. Um, if I could do any of those jobs again, I would love to, like, I loved being a store manager. That for me was just such a good time. Uh, also, I took it on really well, like, even if I had to fire people or I had to let people go, like, I was always, like, the most humane I could be, you know, really was, like, this is, you know, your options and this is what's going on. And, um, I loved alcohol promotion because it was just, like, a fun job. I don't know if I could do that again. Uh, just, like, being around drunk people all the time is kind of weird. But I did learn a lot because I took a lot of courses during that about, like, alcohol and stuff like that. You have to get certified for things. So that was always fun. I was a dog walker. Um, I've always loved animals. Actually, I think that was my very first job. I babysat and I dog walked. That was probably like my first jobs. I think that was between the age of like 10 and 14. I always loved walking dogs. I always loved 
um, just being around animals. Oh, I worked in a pet spa. I was a receptionist at a pet spa, which was really fun. I liked it, but the owner was kind of an asshole, so I only worked there for maybe six months, and then I just like couldn't handle it anymore. Also, I saw two dogs get killed while I was there, so that was kind of crazy. Um, all the other receptionists were kind of bitchy, so that sucked. What else? Uh, I was an assistant to a photographer. I did that for probably, like a lot of these jobs overlapped, um, but I was an assistant to a photographer for about two years, and that was really cool. I learned a lot. Actually, I worked for another photographer too, but that was kind of like a part-time job. Like I only did that for like 15 hours, 10 to 15 hours a week. And that was, I would categorize his stuff and do like stuff online and bill people and call people. What else? I've never worked in, um, I've never been a waitress. I've never, I guess that's like the service industry. I did work as a bartender, like on and off for small gigs, like, maybe I think I maybe did that like 10 times where I would just work for a few hours and I um and that was fun and that was like for private events and that was that'd be like at celebrities houses and stuff so that was pretty cool um I'm trying to think is there anything else I did I'm sure there's other stuff that I did that when I was in college I I don't know if this counts because this wasn't really like I wasn't getting paid or anything, but I did um, intern for a bunch of different like fashion houses and for fashion companies, um, doing stuff for them and for fashion events or like things in that realm. I'm trying to think, um, what else have I done? I think that might be it. Well, looking forward to the future, what do I want to do? So I want to go to esthetician school and then I want to work in a spa for like a little bit of time. While I'm working in a spa, I want to get licensed to do microderma, I mean, um, microblading and microneedling. And then once I am certified to do microneedling and microblading, microblading, I'd like to do that like also in a spa. And then I would like to open my own spa and I would also like to have my own skincare line. So having my own spa, I'm probably gonna start off by doing like a smaller, like maybe, you know, have in my house, maybe have a room that I, I you know, do spa stuff in, or renting out just like a one room kind of area. Like in LA, they have these things called Salon Republic, which are big, they're like big places, but then they have little rooms and in those smaller rooms, you can rent them out. So I'll probably do something like that. Um, and then open a bigger spa and have my own skincare line. So that would be great for the future. All right. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye. So I was just editing the video and I totally forgot to tell you guys about my hosting jobs and about my radio jobs and stuff like that. So I was a host on Playboy Radio on and off for about four years and I worked for AfterBuzz TV for about four years and I did club promotions after I was on television. I did that for about maybe a year and a half, two years and I could do an entire video on radio hosting and on club promotion and club hosting. I just totally forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, I did that for the majority of the last six years was radio hosting and club promoting and YouTube, what else? Um, and also freelance work. So if you guys wanna hear about any of that, please let me know in the comments and I can do another video on that.